Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In this video, we are going to discuss the bandwidth of the angle modulated wave. Now, angle modulation is non-linear and the properties of Fourier transform cannot be applied directly. Let us find the bandwidth of the FM signal. Now, we know that the FM signal was given well as we have already seen this equation in our previous video that it was given as A into cosine omega ct plus kf integration from minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha let me name it as equation 1 now to determine the fn bandwidth let us suppose that a of t is equal to minus infinity into t m of alpha d alpha let me name it as equation 2 now let me write the equation 1 in the exponential form. So if I am to write the equation 1 in the exponential form, then this can be written as a e power j omega ct plus kf integration minus infinity to t m alpha d alpha. Now this m alpha d alpha integration from minus infinity to t can be replaced by a of t. So I am going to replace this term by a of t and as a result I am going to get the exponential form of the fm signal as a e power j omega ct plus kf a t. Let me name it as equation 3. Now this can be written as This can be written as a e power j omega c t e power j k f a of t. Now I am going to use the power series for the expansion of this term. We know that power series e power x is given as 1 plus x plus x square divided by 2 factorial plus x cube divided by 3 factorial and so on. So I am going to use this uh, power series to expand this term. Here I have e power j k f a t. So this will be equal to 1 plus j k f a t and then I am going to get, uh, have the square of this term. So this will be equal to j square which will be equal to minus 1 and I am going to have k, k f square a square t divided by 2 factorial and then I am going to have the j cube term which will which will be equal to minus j and this will be k cube f a cube of t divided by 3 factorial and so on. So this is uh, how we can expand this series using the power series formula. Now I am going to put this expansion here. So this will be equal to this amplitude, this frequency modulated signal will be equal to a e power j omega c t plus this term which is equal to 1 plus j k f a t minus k f square a square t divided by 2 factorial minus j k cube f a cube of t divided by 3 factorial and so on. So let me name this as equation 4. Now if the bandwidth of m of t is m of omega which is the Fourier transform of m of t this means that the bandwidth of a of t will be equal to a of omega. So if this bandwidth is b hertz this bandwidth will also be b hertz. Why? Because integration is a linear operator. Which means that the bandwidth of the a square two a square t will be equal to the two b. Similarly, the bandwidth of the a n of t, a n of t will be equal to n b. Now, because we have infinite number of terms over here, this is continued to inf infinity. That is why we are going to have the infinite bandwidth for the f m modulated signal. So the theoretical bandwidth of the FM signal is infinite. 
Though theoretically the bandwidth of the FM modulator signal is infinite, but I can find the narrow bandwidth. I am going to write over here narrow band. I am going to write over here narrow band frequency modulation or narrow band angle modulation. In the narrow band angle modulation, the frequency deviation is very small, which means that in this case, I am going to have KF multiplied by AT, the amplitude of this, very, very small as compared to 1. So the KF AT is very, very less than 1. Now, when this KF80 is very, very less than 1, I can neglect the higher order terms. So, I can neglect the this, this term, I can neglect the this term and all the remaining terms. So, I am going to be left with only two terms. So, as a result, I can write that the frequency modulated signal in that case will be equal to A e power J omega C t 1 plus J KF of A t. Now this a g power omega c t we know that this is equal to cosine omega c t plus j sine omega c t. So let me replace this e power j omega c t over here. So this is equal to a into cosine omega c t plus j into sine omega c t multiplied by 1 plus j k f a t let me multiply these two terms i am going to get the frequency modulated signal as cosine omega c t plus j sine omega c t plus j k f a of t cosine omega c t and finally we are going to get minus k f a t sine omega c t now this frequency modulated signal is a real function so that's why we need to take the real function of this frequency modulated signal so this frequency modulated signal is basically a real function so when we take the real values we are going to neglect this term and we are going to neglect this term as a result we are going to have a into cosine omega c t minus k f a of t sine omega c t let me name it as equation 5 similarly for the phase modulated signal i am going to have for the phase modulated signal i am going to have a cosine of omega c t in case of in place of kf i am going to have kp and this a of t will be m of t and there i am going to have sine omega c t so this is my equation number six now on close observation we observe that this uh, equation is similar to the amplitude modulated wave if you remember the amplitude modulated wave that was equal to a plus m of t cosine omega c t this my amplitude modulation with carrier are simply known as the amplitude modulation our amplitude modulation will put will put carrier which is equal to a cosine of omega c t plus m of t cosine omega c t so this amplitude modulated wave has a carrier signal and side band center at plus minus omega c similarly is the case of this thing but here the side bands has a frequency shift of pi by 2. So here the second term has a shift of pi by 2 whereas here the second shift does not have a shift of pi by 2. Now the bandwidth of this amplitude modulated wave is 2b. Similarly the bandwidth which is the narrow bandwidth of this frequency modulated wave or phase modulated wave will also be 2b. So from here we observe that the narrow bandwidth of the frequency modulated wave or phase modulated wave is equal to 2b so narrow band angle modulation by angle i mean both the frequency and the phase so narrow band angle modulation has bandwidth of 2b
here b is the bandwidth of the message signal now i can generate this uh, uh, frequency modulated signal and the phase modulated signal using the block diagram now the phase modulated signal as the equation which is this form so for example this is my message signal m of t and this is my local oscillator which generates the a cosine of omega ct and when i when this a cosine of omega ct is passed to a phase difference it it is going to get minus a sine omega ct and when this uh, minus a sine omega ct is multiplied by this m of t i am going to get minus a kp m of t sine omega ct over here and from here i am going to get a cosine of omega ct and when they, these two are added together i am going to get the narrow band phase modulation similar is the case for the frequency modulated signal i have a cosine of omega ct minus a k f a of t sine omega ct where a of t is the integration of the m of t so i have the message signal m of t and i took its integration we get a of t here i have again the local oscillator that, that generates the carrier a cosine of omega ct this term and when this is passed to a phase shifter i am going to get the minus a sine omega ct and when this is passed to the double side band suppressed carrier modulator i am going to get minus a kf a of t sine omega ct a cosine omega ct is repeated over here and and here minus a kf a of t sine omega ct is repeated so as a result we have an adder over here as a result we have the narrow band frequency modulated signal thank you